Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about how to add a rubric to a discussion forum in Canvas. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Canvas course, and then we're going to open up the discussion forum that you want to add your rubric to. So I'm just going to navigate to my modules and find that discussion forum that I want to add my rubric to. Now, if you're used to adding a rubric to an assignment, normally you'll notice that the add rubric is at the bottom of the assignment, but that's not where it is found for a discussion forum. You'll notice it's not there. So instead, you have to locate the kebab in the top right of the discussion. Click the kebab and locate the show rubric or add rubric button. And I'm going to click on add rubric. And you'll want to give your rubric a name. Now, if you're using a discussion forum and you're just repeating a rubric, so it's a really generic, like a post, and then maybe you're grading them on a, how they are responding to peers, you could maybe give it a more generic name, like maybe the name of the course and uh, discussion rubric, because you can reuse those rubrics. Um, but if it's very specific to each assignment, then you can go ahead and name it based on what the title of the assignment is or discussion. So we can name the criterion. We can edit that by clicking on the pencil. And you can name your criterion and give it a description. So you want to indicate what you are evaluating the students on. And then if there's any um, descriptors about what that looks like, you can enter that in the long description. Once you've entered your information, click on Update Criterion. Afterwards, you'll move on to adjust your ratings. So the default is a five-point rating with two options but you can always add more. So you just want to think about what your grading, your rating scale is. So to add another rating, go ahead and click on the plus and give your rating a title. You can always change the score later. And then think about, again, what you're going to call your different ratings. Click on the pencil, give them all some names. and think about, again, that score for the students. And once you have um, completed your first criterion, you can add more by clicking on the criterion and choosing new criterion and giving it a name. So maybe this is just uh, responding So once you've given it a description, create criterion, and again, you can give it um, some additional rating options, or maybe this is a smaller rating scale. Um, it just depends on how you've developed your rubric. So however it is that I've developed my rubric, I want to put all of those criteria in my rubric. And then we'll look at the evaluation, kind of the um, final items on the list and choose any that are appropriate. Like I might want to use this rubric for assignment grading and then go ahead and choose create rubric. Now my little rubric pops up and it says, hey, your assignment has 20 points assigned to it, but your rubric has 25. What do you want to do? So I'm going to say change and then change rubric again. So here's my rubric now. It's associated with my discussion forum. And I just click the box to make it kind of disappear back under the kebab. So to see it again, I click on Show Rubric. There it is. So that's how you add a rubric in a discussion forum in Canvas.